The very smallest thing, those things that are very different now that I'm in the Middle Ages, right? It's like going to the mall is now very different. You know, when I go to the mall, there are just now some stores that are off limits. Oh yeah, <laughs> these stores were never off limits before. They're off limits now. Like I got no business going into Abercrombie and Fitch, <laughs> American Eagle, Hollister, and I certainly have no business going into Forever 21. <laughs> which is a total friggin' lie, by the way. I think it would be nice if they uh, opened another store for us older gals. You know, like Forever 39. <laughs> but just sell wine and yoga pants. <laughs> just the essentials, thank you. Right, but like you hit the Middle Ages and you just start doing things and saying things you never used to. Like now the only radio stations I listen to play the soft and easy favorites of yesterday and today. <laughs> Yeah, the other day I thought to myself, is it just me or is the grocery store playing really good music now? <laughs> oh, that Celine Dion is a national treasure. <laughs> God bless her. Like, I'd rather stay home than go out. Right, when you're young, when you're in your 20s, you got that thing called FOMO. Right, you're always going out because you are, you know, having that fear of missing out. But when you're in the Middle Ages, you've got JOMO. Joy of missing out. You're like, I'm just going to stay home tonight and do nothing. I'm not going out to the bar. Yeah. I wake up on early, I, sorry, I wake up uh, early on days I don't have to. And there's just some times I want to sit down. No, ladies and gentlemen, you know you're getting older when you just want to sit down. Like, you, you haven't been harmed, no. You're not injured, you don't have to sit down. You just wanna sit down. No guys, let's just think about it. that's a complete reversal from our childhood, right? Go back in time to when you were a, you know, a kid and your parents took you somewhere and you spent pretty much the whole time running around and they spent pretty much the whole time trying to get you to sit down, right? They're like, sit down, sit down, get over it, sit down. Right now, it's totally reversed, you know? Don't make me run around. I just want to sit down. And partying is so different now. Partying is so different. Like, I now know to avoid certain drinks. And I actually do. It's like, oh, no tequila shots for me, thanks. Who is that voice? Who is that person? Expressing self-awareness and boundaries. And if I roll a joint, it's in my ankle. <laughs> and speaking of body parts, I used to have a left knee and a right knee. Now I've got a good knee and a bad knee. That's how I refer to them. And you know, because I'm from an older generation, when I send a text message, I use correct spelling and proper punctuation. <laughs> Hell yes. Capital, comma, period. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm laughing my ass off. Talk to you later. <laughs> and you know what, ladies? I think this is a symptom of age. I'm just all about living my truth, being authentic. So I don't type LOL. I'm not LOLing. <laughs> Who the hell is actually LOLing? Okay, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing the LOLing thing, but I have come up with a far more honest response. Salt. Smiled a little, then stopped. <laughs> right, but when you say that is a symptom of the Middle Ages, is that you're really interested in living your truth. Speaking your truth. Unless you're, you know, unless you're um, at the doctor's office having your physical and your doctor asks you how many alcoholic beverages you consume in a week. Anybody else here rehearsing that answer as you're driving to the appointment? They're like, okay, what sounds healthy, but realistic? Right, and the moment comes when your doctor asks you the question and you sit there and you're like, five or six? Meanwhile, back at the ranch, at that point in the week, it would only be Tuesday. 
Actually, there was a doctor in my audience um, a few weeks ago. She came up to me after the show, and she said, Susan, any time, you know, any time we get an answer to that question, we automatically double it. I said, that's cool, because we're halving it. So in amongst all the lies, we are having an honest conversation. Oh, I had my physical last week. And my doctor asked me if I'm sexually active. I said, not really, I just sort of lie there. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm just so tired. I'm 40. And I'm buying a lot of Kleenex now, ladies. I don't know about you, but you know you're getting older when you stop blowing your nose with toilet paper. And you go out and you actually buy Kleenex. I pretty much got a box of Kleenex in every room of my home now. And when I'm at the store, and I, I get very excited if I spot a box of Kleenex that perfectly matches the decor of one of the rooms in my home. I'm like, oh my God, that baby blue perfectly matches the shower curtain in the upstairs bathroom, and I buy eight. Is anyone else here stockpiling attractive Kleenex? But I haven't gone to the point where I've got a box of Kleenex in the rear window of my car. I, I'm not there yet. And I'm certainly not at that point where you take a piece of Kleenex and you shove it up your sleeve. I'm not there, but you know we all will be there. Oh yes, we will all get to that day when we can no longer be bothered to get up and get Kleenex. And we'll just start wearing it. And the thing is, is when I'm traveling, I, I pack so differently now. When you're young, right, when you're young, you throw in a few outfits and your makeup and you go. Well now, the middle ages, when you get older, you pack like you're a baby again. Like, I, you know, I go on a trip now and I've got my ointments and my creams and my pharmaceuticals. I've got my slippers. I'm friggin' packing slippers when I'm just gone for one night. Oh yeah, you know you're getting older when you pack slippers. And then I pack extra shirts, you know, in case I dirty one. And I pack extra underwear in case I have an accident. <laughs> and I'm packing snacks. Have you started packing snacks? Oh yeah, you know you're getting older when you're packing snacks, right? Because I get a bit fussy if I go too long in between meals. <laughs> and just like a baby, I've got a whole other separate bag for all of my bottles. <laughs> yes, it's happening. And so, ladies, I would have to say that probably the toughest thing to accept about the aging process is that sometimes now, when I laugh really hard... <laughs> yes, you know you're getting older when you've got tears running down your legs. <laughs> right? Have you ever left a room, like, doing this before? Like... God, your bladder becomes such a big thing, huh? Wow, like my bladder, I am always thinking about, it's constantly on my mind, such a hot topic now. Like when I'm out and about in public and I encounter a washroom, I have that thought. I have that thought. Well, might as well go while we're here. <laughs> Does anybody else here get a little excited and giddy and happy when you're on your way to the bathroom? Well, hells yeah. It's a chance to sit down. Thanks everybody, you've been fun, you've been great. Enjoy the rest of the day!